Hey, YouTube, this is the American Samurai coming to you almost live once again from Small Town USA, back again with another Doctor Review. Today we're talking about an oldie but a goodie on a classic format. The, the VHS CDS Fox release of The Robot, Tom Baker's introduction story, and Tom Baker's introduction story and the birth of the longest running classic Doctor, the fourth incarnation of the Doctor. Need I say more? Originally transmitted December 20th, 1974 to January 18th, 1975. Approximate running time 99 minutes. Color 1975. Okay. Alright. Give you a summary. After the events of, of um, Spider, but I believe it's the, sp the spider one. I forget what it's called. Um, this is uh, the doctor is behaving rather oddly. His regeneration, after his regeneration, the brigadier finds a research center under attack. After a robot steals the plans for a new disintegration gun, could the members of the mysterious think tank be responsible for the giant invader? How sinister are the attention of the shadowy scientific reform society? More importantly, can the doctor recover in time to save Earth from an atomic war? Okay, now how I found out about, how was I first um, exposed to this one? The Multimedia Chronicles. I can't pronounce the guy's name, a uh, channel name, but uh, just search Multimedia Chronicles. I believe he talks about this being like one of the, his introduction to Doctor Who. Uh, they had the first episode up of this on YouTube, but after that it's kind of a blank. They had the audiobook up for a while, but... Um, overall I enjoyed this. It moved along rather briskly, being a four-parter. There wasn't any, there wasn't that much filler. And what I like about these old VHS cassettes compared to, say, the DVDs nowadays, is there wasn't any ads on this tape whatsoever. Let me explain this to you. No ads. I mean, that just blows my mind. Nowadays, like every DVD release has like two, like four or five ads you got to get through before you can get to the main menu and watch the actual movie. But I'm not talking about that. Overall, what I think about this, I thought it was a pretty good story. I've watched it a couple times. I find myself watching it when I'm bored. Even if it's on VHS. Which, sadly, is how a lot of us North American, Region 1 land, as the Multimedia Chronicles calls it, has to watch these things. Because, frankly, the BBC needs to get off their hmm, backsides and maybe re-release some of these on the... Re do another re-release on DVDs of some of these. Like, uh, Robot would be one, uh, what else? Uh, some of the Patrick Troughton ones, I would think, like, um, The Invasion. Is it The Invasion? I don't know. Uh, the final Patrick Troughton story could use it on the DVD release. Because it's really hard to come by here. But, anyways, this is a good story, and overall, I give this a 5 out of 5. If you haven't seen it, you need to see it, or experience. I don't know, I don't care if it's in book. DVD, iTunes, if you're a Doctor Who fan, or you're just getting into Doctor Who, then this is probably the, I mean, you know, being at the beginning, this is the definitive first Doctor story you should check out. So next time, this is the American Samurai saying, Sayonara, companions.